this is a water jet. And this is a water jet cutting through a fire hydrant. Yeah, it actually did it. And it also destroyed this coconut. Now, we've got loads of other cool experiments to check out. We're going to see some other things that water can cut through later on. All right, we've got water, salt. Going to stir it. Yeah, that's salty water like the sea. An egg and a battery. Wait, why have you rubbed the battery on the egg? Put it in there. What? Does that actually happen? We need to do a video of actually trying experiments one day, don't we? What is going on here? Oh, dear. Hey, guys. Before we look at this, remember, these are trained professionals in controlled environments. Do not try any of these experiments at home. Why would you want to blow up a toilet? Like, what's the point of that anyway? It's not the first time it's been steaming, huh? So that's a balloon full of Fanta, a balloon full of Coca-Cola. What's that? I don't even know what they're put on there. And that Mento. Oh, these are Mentos. That's going to go crazy, isn't it? That is going to go absolutely crazy. That's an extreme Mento experiment. Oh, my God. That's like elephant toothpaste, isn't it? Is that what they call it? Elephant toothpaste? I don't know why it's called that. Is that it? What are these? Are these like Orbeez? Are they doing Orbe R? Oh, it's the Instagram sign in, on the beach. Wait, why are you pouring Coke on them? What does that do? <clears throat> I'm so confused. What? No way. That's amazing. No way. That's fake. That's fake. Fake. Wait, look, there's more coming out. No way. Is that for real? That is absolutely brilliant. Right, 512 hertz. Doesn't do anything. Okay. But what does 440 hertz do? Oh. It actually moves the ball. What? Crazy. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at those smoke rings. Oh, my God. Do you reckon you could jump through that? That's amazing. I've never seen smoke rings like that before. Okay. I'm ready. We've got two liquids. Okay. Poured from one to the other, back into the other. Editing trick? I don't know. Science is crazy. Wait, what's that? Some kind of beam gun. That like a UV light that's melting chocolate. I don't know what that is, guys. I don't know what that was. But don't destroy chocolate. Chocolate's lovely. Wait, what is that? Is that like a lip balm? Or lipstick? You put like a heart shape. It's a battery. Does that actually work? What, you put some like metal thing and it spins? Clever. Oh, it's another elephant toothpaste, isn't it? What's it? Is it Mark Warber? Is that his name? I don't know. But this is this is crazy. I've seen this one. Look at it. Whoa. Imagine cleaning up that mess. That's somebody's back garden. They come back from a holiday and they're like, uh, guys, what are you doing in my garden? Wait, is that a lung? He's blowing a lung up. That's what happens to your lung? Whoa. 12-inch speaker, duct tape, vinyl tubing, 24 frames per second camera, sine wave software. Okay. Well done. You've created a tap, mate. 24 hertz. Oh, it's what it does to water. No. No, no, no. What? No. What? If you put it near a speaker? Don't put water near your speakers, guys, please. Your parents are going mad. Does it actually do that? That's absolutely mind-blowing. Experimental. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. It sucked all the water up? Wait a minute. So they put something... What are they putting like? I'm not sure what they're putting in there. Remember, don't try any of these guys, all right? Science. Okay. See, look, he's got all the right protective gear. He obviously knows what he's doing. He's in a controlled environment. It's going to like suck it up, isn't it? Science rocks! Marshmallows. Oh, you're just making me hungry, aren't you? Wait a minute. Are you vacuuming these? Are you heating them or vacuuming them? Why are they getting bigger? Oh my God, this is a great magic trick. No, no, no. What? What have you done? What did you do to them? That was like a roller coaster of emotion. I was here and then down here. We've got a bit of metal. We're putting in soapy. Is that soapy water? Oh, I've seen this before. This is really clever. Oh, I've not seen that. Where you create a cube in a cube. Oh, I love that. Have a, you can have a go at that one, guys. That one's perfectly safe. That's just some washing up liquid. Theme of the week, science. Water, paper, cup. Is that some pepper? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, is this when you put a soap? Yeah, this is crazy, this one. Dirt, it literally makes... That's what it does when you wash your hands. It makes all the germs, like, go away. It's crazy visually, isn't it? Dancing popcorn, duh. water, baking soda, and popcorn kernels. What? And it pops in the water because of the baking soda. I am learning so much today. Effects of nitinol. I, I don't know what nitinol is. That's a paperclip. 
Okay, you can bend it. Yeah, we've all done that with paper clips. We've all messed around with paper clips, haven't we? So that's the only reason I'm having paper clips. Fine. Where's this nitinol come into it though? Does it put it back to its original? What? This is 1,000 degree metal balls on ice. Whoa. Whoa. That is so satisfying to watch, isn't it? It's amazing. Like, what wins? The ice? Well, ultimately, the balls will always win at the end because the ice will melt. But I'm surprised the ice has done very well there. 1 0 ice. Oh, this is a bigger one. I think this one might beat the ice. It might. It's got a chance because it'll hold its temperature better. No, no, the ice is literally eating it. Literally eating it. Gone. Now we've got it versus eggs. This is like yolks and white. They're just going to cook the eggs right away. I'm surprised it's not cooking it quicker. What? I cook mine quicker in the frying pan. I didn't expect this. The yolks are still like... I reckon you can eat that once it's cooked. Thing is, I bet you that is so hot right now. I think it was a thousand degrees. I think it's burning that. That's why you don't try these things at home, guys. What's she pouring in there? It's like salt and balloons. Oh, because the gas is going to blow up the balloons. That's really clever. I think. Well, no, it looks very dead. She's scared. Yeah, I would be. It's not really doing much. But that's one of those things you can never go back because you just can't go back. Oh, my God, that's crazy. It's filling the balloons up and it's fallen over. And I would say failed experiment. What's this? Two jugs full of water and you pull them apart and it stays. Nah, that's absolute garbage, mate. No way. No way. They're not going to do frequent. No, they're putting voltage through it and it's doing that. What? Physics. Oh, yeah, because she'll stay still because she rolls. I know that one. She literally is staying dead still. Apart from a little wobble. This is lava being poured into a watermelon. Well, that watermelon's getting cooked literally from the inside. Ooh, yeah. I wouldn't eat that watermelon if I was you. Yeah, it was destroyed. Of course it's destroyed it. The poor watermelon didn't stand a chance, did it? It's like me versus an ant. Trash bag. Cut into strips. All right, toilet paper. What are you doing, mate? Rub the strips. You get a plastic pipe. Rub it. Are we just rubbing everything? That's wicked. That one you can try at home. As long as you're able to use scissors, you're allowed to. You can try that. Now, watch what happens when I drop in this heavy metal nut. It sinks right down to the bottom. But when <laughs> This heavy metal nut. <laughs> it's the way he said nut. Nut. I drop in this grape, which isn't quite as dense. It sinks down through the top two layers and sits on top of the syrup. This bottle... Syrup. So what have we got there? Oil, syrup and water or something. The top slowly sinks down through the oil and sits on the water. And this piece of sponge floats on the top. Pretty... Oh, so we've got oil, water cool, and something else. They've all got different densities. Because this syrup is denser than oh, the water it the sinks to the bottom. Right. Then pour in some cooking oil and leave it to settle. Oh, that makes sense. That's quite cool. We have a bottle. Hang on. How's that just turned to ice? This is moving a bit quick, isn't it? Let's slow it down. So put water in the freezer for a certain length of time. Okay. Take it out. Don't shake. And as soon as you tap it, it turns to ice. Can you do it in a glass? Wait, what have they just dropped in there to turn it to ice? All right, what are we doing now? Oh my God, that is awesome. That is, that's awesome. That's the best part of that, that. Sodium in water, apparently. Isn't sodium salt, or am I completely making that up? The fact he said pray for me means that this is something you definitely shouldn't try. What's gonna happen? Oh my Oh my god, it's like fireworks. I love it. He came you see him come running in with his phone. I think you might have missed it, mate. <laughs> iPhone experiment. Putting it into a grinder. Does the, I Ooh, the iPhone gets absolutely destroyed, doesn't it? Oh, imagine that was your phone. You accidentally dropped it. The greatest fumble of all time. That's a candle on a nail and two glasses, right? Gonna light it. Both ends. Burning the candle at both ends, my friends. It's like a seesaw. I wonder why. Because of the drips and the weight changes. Which side's gonna win? This is a real power struggle going on here. I know it's not gonna start spinning, is it? Is it going to start spinning? Oh my god, I can't take my eyes off this. Please start spinning. No, it didn't spin. Now this is the effect on light on different colours. Well, black absorbs it, right? So that's going to go bang on that balloon. I wouldn't use magnifying glasses because they do... Yeah, they can do a lot of damage with the sun. Um, 
white it shouldn't do anything because it reflects it right isn't it lighter colors reflect and the darker colors absorb yeah magnifying you've lost to that balloon mate Ooh, what do you reckon here a dark balloon in a clear balloon i think the balloon inside gets it mr scientist over here Ooh, ooh, she got a shock from that oh is this where the electrons pass through her and her classmates whoa look at her hair I mean, I wouldn't look any different if I did that. You'd get a couple of strands like Homer Simpson. Look at her hair. That's amazing. Experiment <laughs> shows how intense radiation heat can leave behind a shadow. What do you mean? It can leave behind a shadow. That doesn't make any sense. Radiation heat can leave behind a shadow. Wait a minute, I'm so confused. What, what are you on about? If it was really, really hot, surely that guy wouldn't be able to survive, right? I am so confused. Are you confused? If you're confused by that, like and subscribe. Show me that you're confused. Ooh, thousand degree ball versus hydraulic press. Hydraulic press couldn't destroy it. It's having another go, but you're not, mate. Now it's just pure metal on metal. Oh, no. A hundred thousand degree ball versus sponges. I mean... That was obviously going to happen. It's probably gone through your table, buddy, as well. Yep, all the way through. Oh, like we didn't expect that, mate. So this is an experiment of when a dam breaches, apparently. Like, what happens? Oh, look at that. It's, it's, it's not liking it, is it? It's giving away a little bit. Is it completely going to fall apart? Oh, my God, it's completely soaked now. The water's actually going to start coming through. If that was us on the other side, we're about to get wet. Oh, no, it's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. Now, we all know that electromagnetism is crazy. That's heating up. What? That's what it's doing. The electromagnetism has made that... That's white hot, guys. That... What? And that's how they do to... What they made there? Made a bowl? I'm not sure what they made. They look cool. Lava versus iPhone. I want to... I don't know... Yeah, I think that iPhone's in a bad way, isn't it? If you place a penny inside of a balloon and then yep. blow the balloon up and spin it around, you'll see right. that it rolls around on the inside. And even after I stop shaking it, it rolls for quite a That's while. That's really cool. That's cool, but if you want it to make more noise, you can use a hex nut. First, I'll start with the smallest one I had. Whoa! Ooh, that is quite the noise. That's quite... I like this experiment. Oh, we got water cutting through a power tool. Like, I wonder how powerful this water jet... Look... That's actually mind-blowing, isn't it? It's gone right through it. That's mad. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. The brick's going to get it as well. Look how easy it goes through. Okay, this might be sped up a little bit, but I just can't believe how... You'd never think a water jet could do that much damage. Oh, this is a thousand-degree knife. Gone. Oh, Jaffa cakes. Oh, melted Jaffa cakes. Oh, they probably taste nice. <laughs> that... Yeah, that's um, probably not the best way of opening toothpaste or Nesquik, to be honest. No way. It's just cut through an anvil, guys. It's actually cutting through an anvil. Imagine if you're going to jet wash your car and you accidentally bought one of those. <laughs> just start cutting your car in half. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. Remember, don't try any of them at home. And if you want to watch some more good content, click right here, please.